guy in the middle of a fight, and she, as the parent, has the right to use deadly force to protect her kid. And by no, the way, she does. it has nothing That's to do right. with about. It has nothing to do with with the force used. It has to do with whether or not her the, perception of the threat the was reasonable. Exactly. Now, hold on. If he was about to die. Right? If it's it was not, deadly it force. He's about to die. It could be. Oh, but that's the statute. The statute says you have to be reasonably fear imminent death or grave bodily harm. Grave bodily harm. Additional grave from bodily Hold on harm. a second. Listen, guys. Uh, the the young man is 19 years old. He did apparently have facial injuries. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, she's def she's going to claim self defense that not she's defending herself, but she's defending her son. Does it work like that? Does self-defense sure. work like that when it's not a child? It's a 19-year-old man who's probably stronger than she is. Well, absolutely. You can claim self-defense in defense of another. But there mm -hmm. are various steps that you have to meet. And one of them, of course, is that, A, you believe using the deadly force is the only way to stop the action, him beating up his son. And then, secondly, you use only the force necessary to stop it. Okay, what? how about a bat to the head? How about one shot? Four right. shots? Did she or, need to shoot him four times? How about times? running out of the house? I how about running away? No, how about again, running away? Again, you don't know what he was saying. Exactly. And again, you don't know what he was saying. We don't know for sure what the circumstance was. And believe me, these police officers obviously would have had a relationship with the mayor, a guy who has been in that city for a very long time. If they wanted to make this close and shut and had the facts to do it, they would have definitely arrested her. So obviously there's something more that says that they could not.